Have you ever wondered what elixir could unite gods and mortals? Weave tales of ancient civilizations and still find its place in our glasses today? Subscribe now as we embark on a journey through time, uncovering the secrets of a drink that flowed in the chalices of kings, echoed in the laughter of common folk, and continues to captivate our senses in the modern age. Welcome to Food History, where we unravel the mysteries behind the golden nectar of the gods, Hydromel. As we embark on the journey into the origins of Hydromel, we find ourselves in the ancient landscapes of Greece, where the very essence of this ambrosial elixir took root. Picture the sun-kissed meadows where bees dance from one vibrant wildflower to another, collecting nectar that would soon become the heart of Hydromel. The process of mead-making in ancient Greece was not just a culinary practice, but a spiritual communion with nature. Beekeepers clad in robes carefully tended to their hives with an almost sacred devotion. The extraction of honey, conducted with reverence, was seen as a dialogue between mortals and the divine. Now, let's immerse ourselves in the opulence of an ancient Greek palace. Imagine a grand feast where the air is filled with the sounds of lyres and laughter. The royal mead makers, adorned in elaborate attire, orchestrate a symphony of flavors in their workshops, crafting not just a drink, but an experience fit for kings and gods alike. To enhance the flavors of hydromel, imagine the royal artisans introducing exotic elements such as saffron and rare herbs, transforming the golden elixir into a sensory masterpiece. The very act of serving hydromel became a performance, with each goblet raised symbolizing a toast to divine indulgence. Venture now into the bustling agora of ancient Athens. The lively marketplace is a kaleidoscope of colors and aromas, where traders offer not just commodities, but stories in each amphora of hydromel. Families gather in joyous celebration, crushing honeycombs amidst laughter and song, turning the mead-making process into a communal dance of flavors. Picture the local taverns where the atmosphere is thick with camaraderie. Here, Hydromel is not just a drink, it's a storyteller, weaving narratives of the land, the people, and the shared experiences of daily life. Each tavern becomes a repository of memories, echoing with the clinking of glasses and the joyous hum of conversation. Transition now to the medieval monasteries where the mead-making legacy continues in the flickering candlelight. Monks, their robes sweeping the stone floors, meticulously record every step of the brewing process in ornate manuscripts. The very act of brewing becomes an act of devotion, a sacred duty to preserve the essence of hydromel. Imagine the echoing chambers filled with the aromas of honey and herbs, where monks experiment with botanical infusions, guided by both tradition and divine inspiration. The mead they craft is not just a beverage, but a spiritual elixir, echoing the chants and prayers that resonate through the hallowed halls. Fast forward to the present day, where the process of mead making has witnessed a renaissance. Enthusiasts worldwide, clad in modern attire but connected by an ancient spirit, gather in vibrant meaderies. These contemporary alchemists experiment with a vast array of honey varieties, from the wildflower-covered meadows to the eucalyptus-lined hillsides. Picture the modern brewer surrounded by gleaming stainless steel tanks and oak barrels. The process of mead making has become a fusion of science and art, from precise temperature controls during fermentation to the artful blending of flavors. Each step is a testament to the mastery of the craft. In the digital agora of the 21st century, the mead making community transcends physical borders. Imagine a vibrant online forum where mead enthusiasts share not just recipes, but the very soul of their creations. The process of mead making becomes a global dialogue where knowledge flows freely across continents. Now envision a global mead festival where enthusiasts from every corner of the world gather to celebrate the art of mead making. Each sip is a journey, a cross-cultural exploration that connects the ancient traditions of Greece to the innovative brews of the present. As we conclude this odyssey through time and flavor, remember that the process of mead making is more than a sequence of steps. It's a cultural dance that spans centuries. From the sacred rituals of ancient beekeepers to the communal celebrations and marketplaces, from the meticulous craftsmanship of medieval monks to the global collaboration of modern enthusiasts, Hydromel continues to be a symbol of connection and celebration. I hope this extended exploration has allowed you to savor not just the drink, but the rich tapestry of stories woven into every drop. This has been Hydromel history, where the process of making this wine is as vital as the stories it carries. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tasty tales. Until our next sensory journey, cheers!